Yo guys, so as you know I recently released a, a modding video how to install mods from scratch into the game um, It seemed to have actually helped a lot of people and I've gotten a lot of positive feedback So yeah, thanks for that. But another question rose up which is uh, how do I install custom skins? So anything from a shirt to shoes to a deck to wheels, etc And how do I get custom maps into the game? So that's what I'm going to be showing you today and yeah, let's get to it So, for the purpose of this video, I already um, made sure my own folder was empty, so we don't have to. Uh, so I can actually show you guys how to do it from scratch. So what you want to do is open your Explorer, go to Documents, and then there should be a Skater Excel folder. If it's not there, you should create it. It needs to be with a capital S and a capital XL, so Skater Excel. These are the standard folders, so there's basically no gear, no maps. So these maps are empty, which is good. So we can show you from scratch. I'm gonna uh, start up the game to show you guys. I have nothing right now. I just have all the skins and the maps that uh, Easy Day released on the 1.0 release. So let's see. If I go to my character, I select the male standard, medium light, because I don't know, kind of like that uh, character look. Uh, we have the hair, the headwear, all right, let's see. So we have the headwear, etc. This is all the stuff that Easy Day released. We have a ton of customization options already. However, some people, actually a lot of people who play on PC want to import their own custom stuff so they can really make the character look how they want and skate whatever deck you want, whatever grip you want, etc. So usually what you would do is use RB to go through this and at some point, custom headwear would show up, custom top, custom bottom, custom shoes, custom deck, etc. Well, you get the point. So it isn't showing up, which means right now we have nothing custom. If we go to maps, we only have the official maps and the community maps that uh, Easy Day uh, released with the 1.0 release, but no custom maps. So basically we're starting from scratch right now and I'm going to show you how to install whatever you want into the game. So what we want to do right now is go to skaterxl.mod.io or the SXL Discord, whatever you like, wherever you uh, found the stuff that you want to import into the game. And let's see, for the sake of the video not being too long, I'm just going to import a few custom skins. So let's search out something that we would like in the game. All right, this might be a bit lewd. <laughs> let's see, the Fallen Sweatpants look really nice. The Fallen Sweatpants pack. All right, so what you want to do is download this, then open the zip file. There we go. We have a couple of files that we can put in the gear folder and they should show up in game if we name them or rather they have been named correctly already. So all we need to do is put them in the correct map. So what we're going to do is go to gear and now you could just copy paste this in and it would work. However, what I like to do personally, just to keep it uh, just to keep some oversight is name the folder in here, uh, let's say sweatpants or just pants, let's call it sweatpants for now, and drag these in. So with them being named correctly and with them being in this PC documents, skater Excel gear, they should show up in the game and we're gonna test it out right now. So let's start up skater Excel again. So let's see, well the mods are still working, that's a good thing. We go to character and um, we select the male standard. And then we just use RB to go through all the tabs. And there we go, custom bottom. We have the black sweatpants, we have the brown sweatpants and the white sweatpants. So they are showing up in game. Anyways, so that worked. Let's get into some more detail about this. So importing it is easy enough, right? So you put it in, I'm gonna repeat this one more time. You're gonna put it in this PC, documents, skater Excel, gear, and you can basically drag and drop whatever you want in here and it'll show up in game as long as you are on the correct tab in the game. Uh, however, there are a couple of things. Um, usually the people that create the skins already name them correctly, um, but in 1.0, a lot of prefixes for the specific skins got added. So before 1.0, we had basically this. We had deck lowercase, grip tape lowercase, wheels lowercase, uh, M shirt, M pants, M something hat, whatever, right? Anyways, uh, this patch they added a lot, so there are 
a lot of different type shoes now for instance let's see you have the m shoes lowercase but you also have the m shoes dc height 2 lowercase etc now on the off chance that a, a designer hasn't named it correctly you need to find out what type of shoe it is so let's go to the site and download some shoes so i can show you what i mean go to skaterxl.mod.io select it by shoes and pick out some shoes we like so i don't know Maybe the Ben & Jerry's, Nike SB Dunk. We download the file by clicking on it, obviously. We open the Ben & Jerry folder and there we go. So these are M shoes. These are the default um, prefix. So you can just drag and drop them. We need to go back to the gear folder and drag and drop the M shoes Ben & Jerry. Now let's say, and this is a possibility because sometimes the shoes aren't named correctly. So. Let's say he named them Ben and Jerry shoes. Like this, they're not going to show up in game. I can show you. All right, so if we were to go to character right now, uh, male standard, blah, 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 and we would use RB to go through, we would at some point encounter custom shoes. All right, these are some shoes I just uh, tossed in, but the Ben and Jerry's aren't there. So this has to do with the prefix not being right. So if we right now rename this specific file, to M shoes lowercase Ben and Jerry, they should show up in games. So if we go into character and we hop on over to custom shoes, there they are, the Ben and Jerry shoes. The prefixes are the most important part about dragging, uh, dragging and dropping custom skins into the game. Make sure they are correct. I'm gonna leave you guys a link to the official SXL Discord. There's a channel there called gear skins and if you go into that you will see all the prefixes that are available for the um, for the custom skins so yeah that's uh, basically how you add your own custom skins into the game so let's get to maps so what you want to do for maps if you want custom maps in the game because uh, there are a lot of map makers out there who are at this moment working very hard to provide us with custom maps which is something i very much love about this community like there's something to do every day something new every day so yeah uh let's see so we're in the gear fold this pc documents skater excel and gear and all we're gonna do now is go back to skater excel and there we have the maps folder and this should by default be there if it's not make one and put the uh, maps with the uppercase m Let's head over to skaterxl.mod.io and see if there are any maps we can download. So we go back, we go to type map, in this uh, case, not gear. So there we have it. We have some new maps available for us. Let's see, this looks nice. I will skate this. So let's go here, require skaterxl 1.0 and above. Uh, that's a good thing to mention, by the way. Uh, all the pre 1.0 maps are probably going to have trouble uh, running on the current version uh, due to a different Unity version, if I remember correctly. Don't take my word for it. But it means the lighting and the textures are going to be a bit messed up and it probably won't run as good. So you want a map that is uh, post 1.0 until we get the map fix mod. So let's download this. All right, now we open the zip file. Let me close all this. So this is the file you want. You just drag and drop that into your maps folder. And there you go. And now we should have a custom map named Rainset by Jaybird in our game. All right, we go to maps and there we go. Blood in the streets and let's see. There we go. We installed our first custom map. And that's basically how to do it. It's uh, relatively easy and you get access to an amazing amount of content and the stuff that the content creators put out on a daily basis it just amazes me every time all right well so that's it for the video this is how you install custom gear uh, custom maps etc and uh, i'll leave a link in the description below to the skater excel mod io site and uh, to the official sxl discord and to my discord if you want to be up to date with the videos i'm posting and when i'm streaming you can join my discord uh, it keeps you up to date if you like my content I would very much appreciate it if you subscribe, maybe hit the notification bell and it definitely helps. It helps the algorithm. Yeah, I want to keep doing this. I want to keep making more videos. I was already thinking of maybe doing a tips and tricks video. If that's something you guys would like, let me know. But yeah, that's it. So I'm going to say peace out.
Thanks for watching. See you next time.